The man accused of killing his girlfriend and dumping her body on the Blue Ridge Parkway will remain behind bars while he waits on a new trial. Today, Jermaine Glover asked a judge to reduce his, cent his bond set at $1 million, but the judge said no. News 13's Cheryl Barber joins us live at the Henderson County Courthouse with our continuing coverage on this case. Cheryl, what did Glover's family say about this decision? Well, they say it's unfair to keep an innocent man behind bars for more than two and a half years. But Misty Carter's mother said in court that Glover does not deserve to be out on bond. Deputies returned Jermaine Glover to the courtroom where his first trial began last month and ended early this month in a mistrial. During that trial, prosecutors said Glover murdered Misty Carter, tried to burn her body and left it on the parkway. Glover denied he killed her. Today, his attorney argued that six jurors believed he was innocent. He asked the judge to consider Glover's cooperation with detectives to lower his bond. I don't think he deserves to be out for one thing. Misty Carter's mother, Tammy Pace, told the judge Glover needed to stay behind bars for murdering her daughter. You know, Misty's got family here on earth that misses her as much as his mom and dad does, but we don't get to see her. So, you know, I think he needs to stay where he's at. Glover's family looked on in silence as the judge denied any bond reduction. Glover's attorney then asked for a new trial next month, and the judge agreed. Following the court proceeding, Glover's family said the million dollar bond is unreasonable. Why should they put him on a million dollar bond and he didn't do it? No, it's not fair. It's unfair, yes. For him to sit here for two and a half years for no reason, it's unfair, yeah. Well, it's like he didn't listen at all to anything that the lawyer said or any of evidence has been presented for anything, you know, it's, it's just not right. You know, he it just turned a deaf ear. Now, the judge set the retrial for the April 22nd court term. Prosecutors say that they would begin the process of gathering a jury pool for the new trial. Reporting live in Hendersonville, I'm Cheryl Barber, News 13.